Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, here's what happened today. My intention was to get up and do a whole bunch of shit. I did, and I filmed it all. Problem is, it didn't work out. Why didn't it work out? Well, let's see. I got the little cable that came with for the Samsung phone, like I had explained yesterday. So what it does is it goes into the USB port and then it splits so that you have basically a female portion of a cable or a female cable so that you could plug into it and continue to draw power. And then the other one is a three and a half millimeter jack. So you can plug an external microphone into it. Now, I went to VB Flea this morning and I actually started filming in the Forerunner. I looked at it, it showed that the Rode Wireless Go was getting the signal, but for some reason, the phone didn't actually record the audio. Don't know why, I swear I said it correctly. So I walked around, I did a couple, a few clips when I was at VB Flea. Nothing from VB Flea had audio, okay? Then I left VB Flea and I drove to Pleasure House Point. All through Pleasure House Point, I had audio. I didn't change anything. I didn't touch anything. It just worked when I was at Pleasure House Point, but not when I was at VV Flea. Then I decided to take my A7 IV with the 200 to 600, and I set it up for bird, photo well, not bird photography, but I set it up to capture bird eye autofocus, but I wanted to film birds rather than take pictures. I saw four birds, literally. Two green herons and an ibis, and a yellow crowned night heron. I got barely any usable footage. For some reason, it absolutely would not focus on the bird, even though I had the eye autofocus on. And I could see the bird's eyeball. I mean, when it turned to the side, you could clearly see the eyeball. It should have worked. It worked a couple of times, like on the ibis and the heron, but it didn't work on the green herons. And I don't know why. Not only that, but the footage was completely blown out. No matter what I set it to, it, it was just always blown out. I, I mean, how often have I used that a7 IV to film myself in various conditions, and it always worked correctly. Don't know what the hell happened. I went in and changed the ISO. I changed everything except for the 150th because I was trying to shoot in 24 frames a second. Just didn't work, looked like shit. So I got home and I started getting ready to edit the video and I'm looking through all the footage and I was like what the hell there's no audio on any of this what the hell everything's blown out so the stuff that looked decent didn't have audio and the stuff that had audio looked like shit so you know what the monkey did he deleted it all I'm not dealing with that shit I'm not gonna give you that crap so now I have to go to Target and get cat litter because I keep forgetting to get cat litter. Maybe while I'm there, some of you can send me some like psychic vibes so that I will actually remember in the 400 times I've gone to either Target or a grocery store to freaking buy hot sauce. It, literally, I haven't had hot sauce for like a month and I forget every time I go. So I gotta go do that. But first, I need to go to Best Buy and see if they have a USB-C cable to power this damn thing that's long enough because the one that I have isn't long enough. So we're gonna go on a little trip here. Now, since I'm gonna be on the highway, oh, I'm on the highway, I'm driving 75 miles an hour. You get all the noise inside here. I still, I'm using my Rode Wireless Go 1 that I charged up again before I went back out. And here we are. Obviously I have the Insta360 RS hanging on the contraption that I set up yesterday. All right, that's enough blathering. We're gonna go to Best Buy. Then we're gonna go to Target, and then we're gonna go home, and we're gonna run cable, hopefully, if they have it. If not, then we're gonna go home, we're gonna get on Amazon, and we're gonna buy a cable and wait for that to show up. Let's go buy some cable. All right, one down, one to go. They did, in fact, have bigger cables. I got the 10-foot cable, and that should be more than enough. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the bottom end here, because that's not gonna move. That's gonna stay right there. If anything, depending on what I hook up here and how I twist it around and all that kind of shit, that's where I'm gonna need that little bit of extra. So I'll just, I can always keep it up in the overhead and, and I should be fine. So that problem solved. And that won't take me that long to run that, knock on wood. Okay, now we're gonna go to Target and we're gonna buy cat litter. It clouded up a lot. 
so it's not direct sunlight so it actually probably would be better to go out to Pleasure House Point now you'd think but right now with no sun it's 96 degrees so you can see why when the sun was out and totally shining and I went there earlier that I made it like maybe maybe halfway through and decided okay that's enough I'm all for birding I'm all for being outside and all that kind of shit but there has to be a point where you realize that okay this probably isn't the smartest idea at least I wasn't back in the state park like I've done before when it's a hundred you know like a hundred degrees I don't have any water and I'm eight miles in so this time I learned you know I'm definitely learning my lesson I'm knowing my limitations okay kids everything's done I got the cable I got the cat litter to the best of my knowledge I didn't buy anything else but who knows I just got done running the cable all the way from the USB hub underneath the glove box into the door trim all the way up around over the side curtain airbag then up into the overhead all the way over and down where all the shit comes down for the rear view mirror and I left myself more than enough cable like up in the overhead in case I have to pull it down further or whatever but there's actually still more than enough sticking out that, I mean there's literally no cable in my way or, or, or anything like that and everything's clean you can't see it except for where it comes down for a couple of inches like you maybe see an inch and a half of it between the rear view mirror and the roof the ceiling so <sighs> And I am completely just like, holy shit, I'm drenched. It's still 95 degrees. I had to have that door open, but I kept the AC blaring. Right now it's not blaring because I'm trying to film. But I'm going to go in and like sit in front of my fan and have some nice, cool, tasty water. Because that's all I'm drinking. But that's it. It all worked out. Sorry that all the stuff that I filmed this morning was shit. I was kind of hoping to be able to put up a nice video that showed everybody happy at VB Flea and all the birds and everything that I was going to capture at Pleasure House Point. None of it worked out. So that kind of sucks. Lots of adventures planned for tomorrow. My wife texted me and Ashley wants to go to breakfast somewhere, which she hasn't wanted to do in ages. There will not be a typical bagel Sunday because I'm not going for bagels. We're going for breakfast. So I might film that because now I have this and there's plenty of space here to film my wife. <laughs> Like she's going to want to do that first thing Sunday morning. Uh, and then I don't know what else we're going to do. Uh, I would imagine if I get her out of the house, she's going to want to do a bunch of stuff. So that'll be that. And that's it. So that's all you get for today, which is plenty minus all the other cool shit that I did. So I wish I could put some of the footage in, but it was really shit. So there's no point. That's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, a schwitzy forward and up.